Mrs. Baker has made her classroom unlike any other through the use of technology. She uses various websites and apps to help students learn and express themselves in new and different ways. She's proving that she's on the cutting edge of technology. We're learning more, we're doing more with technology that we would not be able to do just on paper. With being able to use the Chromebooks, we get to see more than what Ms. Baker actually teaches us. The students don't have to wait for me to deliver instruction to them. They can go seeking answers, you know. I look at it like I'm an architect. I design the plans for our learning activities. But then my students are the contractors, the subcontractors, the builders, the decorators. They're the ones who are going to take what I've given them as a plan and said, okay, they're going to create it and then live in it. It benefits with the learning experience and how like it's more open instead of having to like read a book or like a dictionary so like you could like get the answers instantly on like a smartphone or a computer whenever you can. One day a week we have the Chromebook cart and so one day a week on Mondays uh, my students were we do asynchronous projects it may be a group Edmodo quiz uh, it may be uh, creating websites um, of projects or digital versions of projects so I try to integrate technology just about with any tool I can get my hands on. My overall goal, one, is to make learning more relevant for my students and to make them be self-sufficient, accountable, responsible learners and lifelong learners. That the tools that we learn in the classroom, that they can take that beyond. When they graduate, when they walk out of these halls, when they go into the workforce, all of these skills are still applicable. Mrs. Baker's use of technology in the classroom is a glimpse into the future of education. She is pioneering a whole new and better way for our students to learn and create better futures. I'm Luke Miller for SNN.